Okay, let's talk about the U.S. for a minute. They're like, nah, we don't want the U.N. to look into this. Russia just wants to change the subject, and they're saying Russia is abusing their position by bringing up this internet conspiracy theories. But hold up, if it's all just a conspiracy theory, then why not let investigation happen? Why not let people get to the bottom of this? The U.S. ambassador John Kelly is also like, "No way, we didn't do it. These accusations are completely false." And he's saying the U.S. the U.N. resources should not only be used when states are unwilling or unable to investigate themselves. But like Russia doesn't think the current inquiries are impartial, so what now? You might start to wonder why the U.S. acting all suspiciously and trying to block investigations. Here's one reason Hirsch gave us. The worry we always had about Russia, always with its great resources of natural gas,、uh, they, they have、uh, from way <laughs> they just have tons of it, gas and and、um, and, o- and oil, and、um, uh, the worry was that, that Russia was weaponizing this gas. It was using it to get leverage in West Germany, West Western Europe, and Germany, and that was always something that was a problematical、uh, for us. We didn't we we wanted to keep Russia from having. Energy power. The energy weapon. So what the U.S. wants to do is take away Russia's energy weapon. But the thing is, it's not an energy weapon at all. It's trading. Germany buys gas from Russia. Russia buys things from Europe, and the U.S. is selling things to Germany. But there are people in the U.S. portraying trade as dependence. Not so much, except if you're planning to make an enemy、uh, of this counterpart. So we now consider trade. Uh, completely militarized in general. I I acknowledge. I think the whole view of trade has changed among these U.S. neocons. Now it's all called dependency,、uh, and、uh, you can't even trade with China anymore. That's dependency. So yes, if you're if you view the world、uh, in a zero sum struggle for who's on top, then yes, this looked like a wrong idea. If you view the world as Russia is trying to sell something. Uh, Germany tried to have a competitive international economy. Then, no, I don't buy it. See, in a statement, September twenty twenty two statement from U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, he says it's a tremendous opportunity to once and for all remove the dependence on Russian energy and thus to take away from Vladimir Putin the weaponization of energy as a means of advancing his imperial designs. But let's admit it. Trade is not dependence; it's just trade. But once it is viewed as a weapon, the U.S. won't let others to have it. It wants to control the weapon itself. So when it comes to geopolitical issues, there's always one golden rule: follow the money. Let's look at American energy market. With U.S. liquid and natural gas exporters boosting shipments to Europe by more than 137 percent in 2022 compared to 2021, now we know who's making the big money. 